How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here yet again and I'm giving you folks a bit of a vlog here but also a topic video. Nice outside there, nice degrees and I got in the mood from seeing some nice weather you could say to make this video. Now uh, I used to play a game back in the day called Halo 3. You may or may not have played it um, but basically that's what introduced me to the Halo multiplayer. I had played it a little bit obviously on uh, basically land, so you know, just kind of at home, couple buddies, that kind of thing, for the first and second Halo. But this was actually the first time I really got involved in m online multiplayer. So this video is going to be talking about my Halo experience, um, and we're going to basically be talking about Halo 3. Now, uh, you can relate to a lot of people. You'll be surprised here. Um, if you've played this game and you have good memories, you can really relate. Uh, so, basically try to make it a little quicker but it's a little bit of a story uh so i, I had a friend at the time uh we don't we don't talk anymore it's been oh god it's been yeah at least seven years um but yeah we used to hang out all the time like almost daily and i'd come over you know it was like 40 minute walk 40 45 minute walk just just to get there right and i would i would go there on like a weeknight so I'd like get home from school, I'd just get my shit and I'd go straight up there. What would I walk with? I'd walk with my Xbox 360 all the way up there just to hang out with him and we could play Halo, right? I mean, to be fair, actually, no, we didn't always actually play Halo, but, um, but you know, there was, there was some really good times had and I really met uh, a lot of people. There was uh, a game I used to play, it was called Smear the Queer. So everybody would basically get your vehicles, like your ghosts, your mongoose, whatever. Um, and there was always a guy in the middle who was pink, one of the pink Spartans or elites, um, and they would have an energy sword, right? And they'd have to get you, and you'd have to run them over, so you're smearing them, right, in Halo. And I remember, like, we used to play that for just, like, like right up to, like, 2 in the morning, right? Like, just, just fucking laughing, having a good time. Uh, there was one called Duck Hunt, uh, where everybody would kind of run through this obstacle course while somebody's trying to snipe you. So one guy, and you're just kind of going through, and you get eliminated. Uh, there, there was a few others. There was one where you went on a racetrack and I guess same idea, but you were you were driving and they had to try to shoot you to try to mess you up and fall off and die. Uh, trash, trash compactor, I think it was called or something. One guy had a grab hammer would hit junk down and we'd all have to try to survive. Like the amount of hours I had in custom games is unreal, dude. I would sit there for just hours in custom games. Uh, not even to mention, but the theme song. Like, the fucking main screen music just takes you back. If you go on that, if you type in Halo 3 um, theme song, whatever, right? And and you go look, and you're like, I wonder I wonder if anybody's writing this stuff. It's there, right? And I'm going to be playing it right now as I'm talking. But it's crazy that, like, so many people relate. Okay? They relate to this game. And this is where a lot of, feel a lot of people made a lot of memories, right? I made a lot of friendships that way, and I also lost a lot. Um, you know, I was going through hard times back in high school, and it's funny because, like, I look back on that, and I realize, like, that was my escape. It was like, you know, get out of the house. Like, that was not a good situation, uh, my household situation. And I'd walk, like, at least an hour and a half, like, there and back combined, just to go play Halo. We, uh, I went over one day in the absolute pouring rain, and I still had the Xbox, and it got uh, no matter what I did, it still it still got ruined. I I hook it up, and I was playing Halo on a 16 inch TV. That's what I was playing on, and I was just on hardwood flooring. Like I w I was just sitting there on the floor. The TV was on the floor, and that's how I played Xbox. And he sat behind me, and he had like a big TV, and he had like the bed there, and. I was playing and the screen melted, is what I would describe it as, and it got the red ring of death mid-game, right? Like right when the loading screen. So I ended up wrapping it with a um, with a towel and turning it on, leaving it, and evaporated most of the water. We got like another six months out of it, which was quite amazing. Um, and like I said, like it, it was just coming over, get like you know you get the party chat going, you get like six people going at least. Like sometimes I don't know, I can't remember how many we got, six seven people. Um, and it was like a nightly thing. Like it was like everybody got together. We all jumped on Halo. We all went like you know Rumble Pit, and like we got like a couple random guys that would play, and then we'd all just have a good time. Um, and I got really good. Like I actually like I feel like I got quite good at Halo playing because I just played so bloody much. 
that I was starting to learn and it surprises me now like how different Halo is and like how I think the essence is gone like it's not even like split, split screen play um, again same idea like I had uh, two friends there we all and even sometimes the four of us there would I get together um, and I don't really keep in contact with um, any of them actually um, but it's again you know, like years ago and it's like we'd all get together like you know and that was like physically we'd all plug our controllers and we'd all play in our small little squares and we you know we'd play games of you know of, of local play right and it's just crazy that, that that doesn't happen anymore, right? Like, you look at the new Halo game, like, say, Halo 5, for example, uh, I don't even think they've introduced that. Like, they, they, took, they completely took out split-screen play. And it's crazy because, again, that's how you build good memories, man. Like, is everybody sitting together playing a game, right? It's not like I just put my microphone on and go. Um, you know, you never even visually see them. It's like... You know, again, like, the voice chat in Halo, like, everybody had mics. Uh, like, you know, there are certain games now, it's like, they don't even have the microphone option. It's like, you just don't hear anybody in the game. And, you know, again, Halo was what it was, where it was at. You know, it was, you know, obviously it needed some work, but it was a damn fun game. And, you know, a lot of things with that game, I had a really good time playing. And I really miss playing Halo sometimes. Um, like, and the music was one of the biggest things. Like, like it takes me back, right? Uh, but anyway, that's kind of my Halo experience. Um, the newer Halos have kind of ruined it. Uh, Halo 5, I played like a couple games of multiplayer and stopped. Uh, I played Halo 1, 2, 3, ODST, Halo Wars, and Halo Reach. Uh, I did play some Halo 4, not a considerable amount, but I played enough. Uh, the Master Chief Collection, I played nowhere near what I wanted to play. But the first, like, I don't know how long it was, maybe the first month? that they had it, it was just trash trying to find games, and I can never get Halo 2 Anniversary anyway, so I just kind of gave up after a very short period of time, and I played it, like, recently, well, not recently, but, like, I, I played it, you know, once in a blue moon, I would come back and play it for a little bit. Besides that, I mean, like I said, Halo 5, I think, was kind of trash, and any other game from Halo, Halo Wars 2, never even played it. Um... You know, I'm not saying all the Halo games I played were that great, but I'm saying that, like, you know, obviously ODST was really just an add-on, but still, I think it's got more than some of the newer ones. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, we're going to have to see you in the next video, and peace.